All right, what is up, everybody? Azaro here, and welcome to a special video I'm doing on Street Fighter 5. Now, they recently updated the game with a couple of, cool, of new things as well as some new stages and a new character, Ed, to get you some tactics. But uh, what we're going to be talking about today is the stages. They did something that if you were never a fan of the past Street Fighter games, say like Street Fighter 2, around that era, then you wouldn't be familiar with what I'm about to tell you. So I know all Vega players are going to be happy when I'm going to announce what I'm going to announce. Now the stages that they released were the Temple Hideout stage, which was M. Bison's main stage. Um from Street Fighter 2, but they also released Flamenco Tavern, which was Vega's uh, stage in Street Fighter 2. But unlike other characters in, in Street Fighter, in like Street Fighter history, as far as I can remember, as far as I know, Vega was the only character that had a stage-specific ability, where he was able to jump on the gate in the background and then do his claw dive instead of just jumping off the wall. And um, I'm curious to see if they still gave him that in Street Fighter V, which I'm very confident that because, because, like I said, if you're not a, uh, uh, if you haven't played Street Fighter II in those past Street Fighter games, you wouldn't know that this was available. But I'm curious to see if they did it. Good to tell, I don't feel available because he only got two colors and he doesn't have any of his other costumes. But I'm very familiar with. Um, how to do it, because I used to main Vega in Street Fighter 2, but I was, I was a rookie back then, and the only thing I ever did was jump on the, on the wall gate, you know, how many years ago was that, it had to be like over 10 years ago, and I, I didn't forget how to do it, I know you do it with a kick, so you probably got to do it next, but I know you do it with a kick, yup, do it with a kick, Gotta do it with. Only do it is to get. Yeah, so you got him. Now I'm wondering, since they're making you skin meter to do that, can you knock him off? I don't, I don't think you can, but um, let's just see. That'll be something if you got a spin meter and you can still get knocked off. I mean, in the past you couldn't do that. I'm wondering if they change the industry. Can you knock them off? That was it, man. They gave him a little massage trip. So, I know Vega players are going to be happy. If you didn't know it was in the game, now this is uh, So, if you play with Vega, obviously you want to invest time in, into getting the Flamenco Tower because this is your stage. You have a, a somewhat bit of an advantage on this game, on this stage, rather than you know other ones. I mean, it's just a claw dive, can't get touched. Giving up some meter for it, so you'd be able to do something. But while you're on that gate, you can't get touched. So I, I would assume any bigger player would want to invest time and get the stage because it does nothing to help you, gives you an advantage. But yeah. It is a nostalgia trip, and they, it's a good thing that they brought it into Fighter 5. But let's see how it goes online. I'm not playing with Vega, but if I'm pretty sure I'm going to go up against a few. So, there it is. Thank you guys so much. Peace. I'll see you next time.